and listen. What's up guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Gamdias Heeb M1 RGB gaming headset. So the first thing I'm going to be discussing regarding the headphones is going to be the looks. One thing that really stood out to me was the RGB lighting. The RGB lighting looks very clean along with the matte black finish on the side of the headset. Then when you move to the top of the headset, you'll see two metal bands. These metal bands do have a brushed aluminum look to them and are very clean overall. They also provide very good head support and prevent the headphones from breaking. There is also a black elastic head strap for head support with the Gomdias logo printed on it. The headset has a 2 meter long black braided cord that is coated in plastic. I think the cord is very durable, but I don't think coating in plastic was necessary. This adds an unnecessary stiffness to the cord and that makes it a lot harder for cable management. Overall, I think the headset looks very nice. The matte black sides of the headset, along with the metal bands on the top of the headset, give the headphones a very professional look. I also really enjoyed having the RGB lighting on the side of the headset. I think that added a very nice touch. So now I'm going to be discussing the features of the headset. This headset does have two oversized ear cups that will reduce external noises. I really enjoyed having these oversized ear cups because it let me focus more on the game than what was happening around me. Another cool feature that this headset had was a retractable, flexible microphone. Because the microphone is flexible, it allows you to adjust the microphone to your preference. I think that having an adjustable and retractable microphone is an amazing feature to have. But one thing that kind of confused me is that when you tried pushing the microphone in, it was still sticking at an inch. I think this kind of defeats the purpose of having a retractable microphone, but apart from that, I still think the microphone was an amazing feature to add to the headset. Okay, so right now I'm actually using the Gamdias headset. This is the mic, and I have to admit, I was very surprised when hearing the mic quality. So the third feature I'm going to be discussing with the headset is the smart remote controller. Connected to the headset's cord, you will find the controller. Using the controller, you can easily control the volume, microphone, vibration, and the RGB lighting. So the next thing I'm going to be discussing about the headphones is going to be the sound quality. The sound quality of the headphones is by far my favorite part. I think the sound quality is amazing. The headphones are amazing for gaming because it's super easy to pick up the less noticeable and quieter sounds in the game. So one thing that I was absolutely blown away by was the bass. The bass was absolutely amazing, and I was not expecting this type of sound quality to come from these headphones. And I'm not only using these headphones for gaming, but I've also used them for video editing as studio headphones. And I do think sound quality wise, these headphones are going to be competing with some of the higher end headsets. And now I'm going to be talking about how comfortable these headphones really were. These headphones were by far the most comfortable headphones I've ever worn or even owned. My favorite part was the ear cuffs. I loved the oversized ear cuff design. The ear cuffs fit very well, and the padding inside the ear cuffs allowed me to wear the headphones for a long period of time. But because there was so much padding, I did eventually start to sweat, and it started to get a little bit more uncomfortable. This wasn't a giant problem because I could easily take them off for a few minutes and then I could put them back on, but I just want to point this out in case this matters to anyone. I also really enjoyed the black elastic headband. There was some type of foam inside the headband that made it very comfortable and enjoyable to wear. Overall, I was very satisfied with how comfortable these headphones were, and if how comfortable they are is the deal breaker for you, then I would highly suggest getting these headphones. So the last part I'm going to be discussing about the headphones is going to be the software. When you plug in the headphones, you'll need to download a software. This software will allow you to change all different types of audio settings and mic settings, which I did enjoy. One thing that I actually found kind of cool was that the software came with a built-in voice changer. This isn't really important to me, but I just thought it was a fun thing to add. Something that I want to point out is that there are a lot of bugs in this software, and I really think it needs to be worked on. Many times when I plugged in these headphones, everyone's voice would sound kind of robotic, and that was something that I messed around with and I still couldn't figure out what it was, and that made me very frustrated at some points. Another thing that I really did not like was that when I was in the middle of playing a game and I wanted to open up the software, the whole screen would go black and it would say it was not responding and I would not be able to access the software until the game was closed. So I think apart from the software issues, these headphones were absolutely amazing. These headphones are currently going for around $70 and I think it'd make a little bit more sense if they went for around $50. But if you can't afford headphones around this price, I think this would be a good option for you. These headphones are a good competition to some of the other higher end headphones right now. I think it's a close call. I am going to be rating these headphones an 8 out of 10. The only reason I'm not saying 10 out of 10 is just because of the software issues. There are a lot of bugs that should still be worked out. But apart from that, I think these headphones are amazing. I'm really happy I got to try these out, and I'm glad I get to tell you guys about them. If you guys are interested in these headphones, click the first link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next video.